panel of five judges of the Court of Appeal, led by Court President Tebu Hotau, listened to arguments on whether Mpoyen Velmina Maswabi should continue enjoying her freedom undisturbed. Joseph Akonya led a team representing the DPP, while Uno Damek led the freedom fighters. The DPP is appealing last year's High Court decision to discharge and acquit the former spy on three criminal charges. The charges include possession of unexplained property, financing terrorism, and false declaration of property. The DPP argued that the lower judge was wrong to acquit Butterfly when they had indicated that their intention was to withdraw some of the charges on condition that they could be reinstated upon completion of investigations at a later stage. They want the court to reverse the decision looking at the fact that while some of the evidence may not be perfect, the truth of the matter is that Butterfly was in control of some properties, some of which belonged to Botswana Housing Corporation and Directorate of Intelligence and Security Services. The DPP admitted that the investigating authority, the DCEC, may have overlooked some crucial information, but they had reasonable belief that a crime had been committed. Mac, however, was adamant that the DCEC fabricated the evidence leading to fabricated charges and malicious, frivolous and vexatious prosecution of Butterfly. He said the DPP abused its powers and process and therefore the charges cannot stand in any court, saying the High Court and the Court of Appeal have powers to grant a permanent stay of prosecution. Meg indicated that the DPP failed to provide evidence that Butterfly was the owner of the properties in question, but instead fed the court with title deeds that confirmed the properties belonged to Botswana Housing Corporation, among other entities. The DPP insisted that the investigations were incomplete, and that's the main reason why they believed the lower court was wrong to acquit Butterfly in the middle of an investigation, even even before a plea had been taken. Judgment is expected on August 5th. Pamepit Habroni.